the story Nothing Ever Happens at the South Pole was going to be the second children's book book you did. The second beginner book, actually. Ted Geisel said, do something entirely different for your second book. And Stan said to me, how about a penguin? I said, that's a lot different from bears. And we did a book about a penguin. Ted liked it very much, thought it was a cute character, but he said, put it on the back burner. Ah, he, he figured they'd come back to it eventually. <laughs> but they, you really did put it on the back burner because you never found it again for a long time. I mean, it was right, lost, essentially. Right, right. I remember them talking about that. Well, we'd like to get out that old book and look at that again. They could never find it. Because all they did was work. They never organized anything. But then an editor found an old crude Xerox of these original sketches. So he sent them to them. And they said, oh, well, now we have a record of this old book. But then they lost that. They put that down in the basement, and they could never find that again. <laughs> <laughs> a few years ago, I brought in an office manager to start going through all this stuff and sorting it and organizing it. And one day, my mom went down there, and she found lying on top of the files this old Xerox version of that book. Our office manager had found it and just left it lying around, like, we'll, we'll come back to this. So it was found. Perfect. Took the sketches and, I and developed laid the finished out artwork the whole from thing it. Yeah. And did the finished artwork. I never thought it would come to light. Never, never. I don't think Stan did either. It'd be nice if you could see it. It's a nice, it's a nice product.